Louisiana Association of Broadcasters Award for Best Weathercast. Welcome back. Well, it was surprisingly comfortable over the weekend as that cold front went through. We dropped our humidity levels and overall temperatures across the board. Well, unfortunately, we are moving back to some of that warm and humid air. You can see tonight overnight lows are only expected to drop into the lower 70s and upper 60s. The issue tonight is going to be even the chance for a little bit of fog in some locations. As you see on your satellite and radar picture, clouds will continue to creep back in from the west. We had some cloud cover, even a few very light showers. Most places, they only lasted for a matter of minutes, just enough to get the pavement wet and they quickly disappeared. But watch the future track. You see we got a little bit of cloud cover out there. We may see some gaps in the clouds tomorrow, and I think we're going to see plenty of sun sunshine heading into those afternoon hours, but notice what happens as we move back into the evening clouds return and clouds will continue to build as we move into Thursday and that's when we get back to some showers and storms, but a majority of those storms should be very late Thursday moving into early Friday. You can see timing wise looks like we're going to see our next round of storms with that cold front as we head into Friday morning. Now we just really need to see what happens with that cold front because that's the big difference maker between us seeing no rain over the the weekend to us seeing scattered to numerous showers and storms. I also want to point out keep an eye on Thursday morning because maybe one or two thunderstorms could be slightly strong at times. Now, as you see here for the next five days, estimates for rainfall are pretty low. In fact, we may see about a half an inch or less for most areas, maybe a couple heavier pockets a little bit further northwest. As you new, move forward, it's a very nice mild pattern. We're putting our temperatures back above average. That's where we're warming up. Upper 80s feel like temperatures could even be more so in the 90s, feeling a lot like summer. As we move forward, we're going to get back to a couple late week storms. We're talking very late on Thursday going into Friday with the possibility of some rain heading into your Saturday and Sunday. And then as we move forward, we move into a cooler pattern once that cold front goes through. We get our highs back into the 70s and lower 80s. But today we hit 88 out there, a very warm one out there, a little bit muggy as we should be sitting around 82. We started out at a very mild 65 degrees, not a record, but getting closer. 84 on your live tower cam. We've got plenty of sunshine at this hour, but you can still see it's a little bit hazy because of that upper level cloud cover. We've now got those winds out of the south southeast at about 14 miles per hour. See the current wind gusts pretty breezy in some locations, 23 in Hammond, 16 in New Roads, 15 right now in the Thibodeau area. And here's your story. As we move into those overnight hours, we're going to slowly drop those temperatures down into the low 70s and upper 60s. A very warm and muggy beginning with the possibility of some fog. So please drive with caution. Make sure you slow down. Make sure you got those low beams on. But when you look at the big picture out there, we're keeping an eye on our next funnel system. But until then, we've got a lot of warm air moving in off the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to see cloud cover. We're going to see our humidity levels rise. And it's going to get a little bit sticky until that actual cold front arrives to the area. You can see a nice little band of showers. Most of the action, once again, will be just north of the viewing area as we continue to move forward. And then we'll just need to see what happens with that tail end because it does look like it's going to push through, but then it's going to stall out. And as you see here, the tail end kind of wraps back towards us as a warm front. That's why we see an increase in the possibility of rain as we move into the upcoming weekend. But until then, as you see, we got a little bit of cloud cover. We're talking temperatures dropping into the 70s and look for some areas of fog to start out your day. Here's that seven day forecast for you. We go from 71 to 87. We'll see a warm and humid breeze tomorrow with some periods of sunshine. Thursday, mostly cloudy, chance for rain late, most storms, and really a couple rumbles to start out your day on Friday with temperatures only reaching the upper 70s. That's all on the back side of that cold front, so that cooler air quickly ushers in. Notice Saturday, Sunday, we're talking upper 70s, lower 80s out there. Possibility of some rain mainly near the coast. Overnight lows dropping into the 50s, but we'll get back into a more stable and a sunny pattern heading in early next week.